ask the defendant, Martin Tankliff, as to count two, murder, second degree, guilty. I was so fascinated by this case that I actually sat in as a spectator during the course of the trial. I don't know, he, he, he was my friend, uh, you know. But he certainly grew up to be a sweet, concerned young man. The gloomy landscape of the village is dominated by the massive concrete prison walls and guard towers. The entire atmosphere seems somewhat surreal, but for Martin Tankliff, this was reality. Well, he called uh, hysterically crying and, and saying something happened to his parents, something happened to his parents, and I remember being taken aback somewhat, and I said, well, how do you know who did this? And he said, because it was my father's business partner. To use some of their own words, they would do whatever they had to do to get that confession. Demanding payment of, of a note, and, uh, and if not, was going to take action on the horses and, and various other things. Grabbed him by the neck and pulled him to the counter and said, you bastard, you want to own me. Guilty. It's like you're, you're hit in the stomach and the air is taken out of you. It doesn't even do it justice. How anyone could be convicted on, a, on the basis of that story, I have kids, and they're probably kids in the third grade that can make up a better murder than that story than that one. There is truly a question of guilt. Sadly, the two people who could answer the question as to what happened that morning have been silent. <laughs>